The Teacher as Artist was first initiated in 1993, which is 25 years ago. And the concept at the time was to raise awareness of arts in the community, not only among our students, but our teachers. As the years progressed, teachers were more or less doing independent work, and we wanted to get more involvement from a broader spectrum of our teachers. So for the past three years, um, I have been promoting professional development and content area, where the teachers are really honing in on their skills of drawing, painting, and experiencing, conceptualizing, and creating composition, which is what we do in the classroom. I have seen many shows in Jersey City and elsewhere that feature Hispanic and Latin artists, but none that were specifically related to Latin women artists. So this is the concept of this show here. We have about 20 artists that were featured, everything from uh, spoken word to uh, uh, tattoo body painting, jewelry, photography, ceramics, as you can see, uh, puppets that were made. So it was a very a multidisciplinary uh, art show. So this painting is actually a representation of the Taino Indians, which are culturally significant in the Boricua culture of Puerto Rico. And uh, Xiomara Gonzalez was able to depict this beautifully in, um, in this work of art here. In the bigger scheme of the whole district and community, there are many people who support what we do. Uh, at the district level, it would certainly be at the top, which is our superintendent and our cabinet members, but also our principals at the building level. Uh, they came out to the opening reception of this particular show, and they're very interested in supporting not only the teacher as within the school, but as an artist, because they see the value that can be translated to their students. My inspiration, or my pets, uh, I'm a big proponent of doing observational drawing, and this is two of my cats, my two uh, pets here, and I did these particular drawings from observation, and then I added in these patterns that you see because I am also a trained textile designer, and prior to when I taught, I was a textile home furnishings designer for many years before I entered education. So I think there's a very good valid point there because I'm bringing a real world experience when I began as a teacher and I'm also continuing that as a professional artist with my own art teachers as my classroom. So it's very important when you're, you're thinking of to use the entire space and also, you want it, your uh, viewer, their eye to travel, so the colors should make your eye travel. Cool colors recede, warm colors come forward. That's why the pets are in the warmer colors. And it's really just an expression of joy of what it's like to be a pet owner, and also just to take their own portraits. One of the highlights for our teachers annually is to be a part of JCAST. Uh, many of our teachers, it's been many years since they've had the opportunity to do a show, and as an instructor and a teacher, that is so demanding on their time. They often don't have the capacity or the time to create a full body portfolio. So being a part of a special exhibit like this with so many artists being recognized throughout the city is truly an honor. 
and the, t uh, the teachers have expressed to me that they felt so lifted just by being recognized as an artist, part of a, a citywide initiative to recognize artists, and that they're being respected as part of that community, not only working as teachers, but active artists.